This is level two in the atrium. I'm, I am Miss Carol and this is Miss Denny. Hello. And we are Thanks. going to be talking more and working more with Easter and the, all of the things that occur in the Easter season. Alleluia. Christ has risen. The Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. These words begin our Easter service. Do you notice during the service that the congregation renewed their baptismal vows? Historically, during the Easter liturgy, people were baptized. So today, we repeat our vows. This Monday begins the second Sunday after Easter, the second week after Easter. Remember, we celebrate Easter for eight Sundays. What color do we use during this time? In the time of Jesus, they bury the dead in a tomb. The tombs were located in a rocky hill, which would have a chamber for the body. It was common that a large stone would be at the entrance. Now, and forth at the entrance. Now let us hear about the first Easter morning. Matthew 28. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord <laughs> came down from heaven and going to the tomb rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook Ooh. and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, don't be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen. Just as he said, come and see. the place where he lay and then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee there you will see him now I have told you so the women hurried away from the tomb afraid yet filled with joy and ran to tell his disciples Did the soldiers die? They were so frightened by the earthquake and the angel. They shook and passed out. What did the angel tell the women? Do not be afraid. 
We have heard these words before. What else did the angel say? Go and tell the disciples. How did the women feel? Afraid and full of joy. Let us read more. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Peter, well, for running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and he believed. In Jesus' time, ointments, aloes, and spices were used to prepare the body after death. Do you remember the story of the three kings and the gifts that they brought Jesus? Gold for a king, frankincense for a priest, and something called myrrh. Well, myrrh was a spice that is used to bear the body after death. They would first wrap the body in a linen and then apply the ointments and spices. Once this process is done, the linen would harden. The linen would harden over the body. The linen would harden over the body. Some, something different happened to this linen, though, because they mention it in Scripture. After the cloth had hardened, how could a body be gone but the linen still lying there as it had before? How could that happen? Something different. The disciples believed what Jesus had told them that he had risen. Today, candles, flowers, and alleluias are signs of Easter. Light, life, joy, and hope. Christ has risen, and in him so have you and I. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go.